Well, <laughs> clearly purpose and reason and cause are extremely important. This is this is the why of of your actions. This is knowing why you're doing what you're doing. This is the commander's intent. And so you you absolutely absolutely these are important. If you don't know why you're doing something, well then let me ask you a question. Why are you doing something? <laughs> it does, it's it's very clear, it's very simple to understand. So yeah. You got to know if if you don't know why you're doing something, then what what are you going to do when you hit an obstacle? You're going to stop. What do you what what adaptations are you going to make when things go wrong to overcome them? You're not going to make any because you don't know why you're doing it. Yeah. So if you have no reason, if you have no reason for doing something, you're not going to do it. So you got to have a long term goal. You got to understand the underlying purpose of what you're doing. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that it mean that it has to be rigid because mm. it doesn't have to be rigid you know i'll tell you a, an interesting case as an example i'll give you is my own case mm. right so of course you know i'm all about planning and and always having a long-term plan and all that stuff but to be honest with you the situation that i'm in right now as a human mm. i didn't have a long-term plan for this you know mm. the 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 I you know Leif and I wrote the book. I had no intention of writing a book. That kind of happened, you know, because people were asking us, and and as we worked with businesses, they said you have this stuff written down. So we ended up writing the book. Mm. Once we wrote it, we thought maybe we'd be handing it out when we go and work with companies. Literary agent saw it today. Let me let me show this to some publishers. Publisher saw it said let let us publish this. Okay, so you figure you're going to publish it. Well. Even when you publish a book, you don't expect that a bunch of people are gonna read it. You expect that you're gonna have a book published and that's cool, but it ended up doing really well. So that kind of happened. With that, all of a sudden I was on a couple of podcasts. Well, I didn't you know, I didn't have any intention. When I went on Tim Ferriss's podcast, I didn't say to myself, this is gonna propel me into my own podcast. Or Joe Rogan's podcast, I didn't say, now you know, Joe Rogan's gonna launch me into the podcast world. No, hmm. I didn't expect that, but it happened. And you know what? It happened, it made sense to me. Okay, these two guys are squared away. They're squared away in this particular genre and they're recommending, my mind is open, okay, let's try and make a podcast. Did I know that the podcast was gonna be super popular? No, I just thought we were making a podcast so that you know the few people want, would wanna listen to it, cool. For, I mean, then look what happens. Next thing you know, we're, we're making tea. You know, <laughs> next thing I'm making tea. I, I had no, no idea. Mm. that that tea <laughs> would be part of my world. So th th all this stuff happened, right? But but the goal, really the underlying, the reason for me doing all this is still the same through the whole thing. And that is that I wanna help people. I wanna help people with something that, the, the lessons that I've learned, I wanna help them. So how can I do that? Well, you write them down. Okay, you wrote it down so people can read it, great. How else can you help them? Oh. You can make a podcast so people can access it easily and cheaply. Cool, here you go. So the underlying goal, oh, you know, I want people to be healthy. Well, what's a good way to be healthy? Stop drinking monster energy drinks. Stop drinking Red Bull 12 a day yeah. and start drinking something that's healthier. Oh, okay, cool. Chocolate white tea, next thing you know. That's what we've got going on. So yeah. it's, it's, that's been my, that's been my goal and I haven't really, even though I've, even though I strayed from what maybe the original path I thought I was going to take, I still stayed. My reason is the same. And I think that that's what I'm saying. When your reason is clear and your purpose is clear, that's going to make your drive clear. And that's going to make you execute well because you know where you're going. You know you where you want to be. You understand your purpose and why you're doing something. And that's what's going to help you be successful, in my opinion. I think that if your purpose is your kids, really clear example, right? And a lot of people might say that, well, that's cool, but that's you're gonna have to clarify that a little bit more, because right. if your purpose is your kids, then quit your job and just spend all day with your kids. Well, then right. obviously you're not supporting your kids because now you can't afford to buy them food. <laughs> yeah, it's like it right? seems like there's a lot so, of different. So your, your goal should be taking good care of and providing for your children's now and in the future. Wow, okay, now that makes sense. Now you're looking long-term, short-term, you gotta, you know that you have to work hard now, you know you have to make investments for them, so that that's right. the kind of thing. That's beyond just a simple, I'm doing this for my kids, because right. what are you doing for your kids? What are you trying to achieve for them? The first one is, you are your own hero. You are your own leader, you are your own master. 
And I, that is a big one because we idolize so many people mm -hmm. and we want to be them. We want to be someone else. And in doing that, you lose all the potential of who you are. You mimic, you be them, you are them, you become them, and you lose you. And we look up to so many people in this world who will let us down. We're humans. I'm gonna let you down. You're gonna let somebody down. If you put them on a pedestal, you then lose time when that person comes up and lets you down. Mm -hmm. You must hold yourself accountable and being your hero, that's what that does. You make yourself so totally accountable for who you are. You focus on you and only on you to become the best person you can be for others. Because we leave a lot on the table, not searching who we are. Mm. And then therefore, you die not knowing your greatest potential. Right. Um, that's one. That's one. The, the, the next one I would say is, um, the biggest one I would say is never pick the easy road. Mm. Never. Never. And it always goes back to kind of like the hero mentality. Never pick the easy road, ever in your life. That is the one road that is due. It is due. If you want something like six minute abs, all mm -hmm. these different things, if like you want it so fast, mm -hmm. you're, you may achieve what you wanted, but you want the permanent fix. The permanent fix comes from the hard road. The hard road gives you permanent results. Mm -hmm. The easy road gives you the quick fix. You will go back to where you started on the easy route. That hard route is so permanent that it ends up callousing you everywhere. Everywhere. You keep a six pack forever. You keep, yeah. it. <laughs> you keep it. Because you know the work that goes yeah. into it. Yeah. And the last one is when you get to where you want to go in life, when you finally get there, you finally reach that point and you're there, and you're happy as hell. Realize this, you're not there yet. Mm -hmm. When you get that feeling that mm -hmm. you arrived, be afraid. Right. Be truly afraid, because now you start to do this. Slowly die. Slowly yeah. die. Either you're getting better or you're getting worse. You're not staying the same. Yeah. So when you get to where you think the journey is ending and you're sitting back and you're like, I arrived, I'm on Mount Everest. I climbed 29, zero 29. <laughs> yeah. The best thing to do is fall back down that damn mountain as fast as you can and start climbing. Mm. 